Anyone with basic geometry and algebra skills should be able to solve this problem. Let's take a look at the question. So we have a circle here that is tangent to the x-axis and the y-axis. And we're told that the area of this circle is 9 pi. Now the question here is we're looking for the x-y coordinate of the center of this circle. All right, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the full solution to this problem in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time we have this circle that is tangent, and that word tangent simply means that uh, this circle uh, is barely touching the x-axis and barely touching the y-axis. Matter of fact, uh, specifically, it's only touching these axes in one specific point. But you can just kind of visually see what's going on. We have this circle and we're trying to determine the center of the circle. All right, so let's take a look at the solution right now. So the first thing that we need to do is come up with a game plan to solve this problem. All right, so once again, we're looking for the center of this circle. And what we know about this circle is that it's tangent to the x-axis and y-axis, and the area of the circle is 9 pi. All right, so what does it mean to have an x-y order pair? Well, what it means is that we need to find this distance on the x-axis and this distance right here on the y-axis to find this point x, y. All right, so this is the information that we really need in order to determine the center of the circle. All right, so really what we need is this distance from the center out to the edge. So from here to here. Well, if we look at a circle, the distance from the center out to the edge is called the what? Well, hopefully you said, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is called the radius. And that is exactly correct. And so we need to figure out what the radius is in order to solve this problem. All right, so we know that the area of the circle is 9 pi. So if we can use this information to find the radius, well, we're going to be able to solve this problem. So to find the radius of this circle, given its area, we're going to need to know the formula for the area of a circle. Okay, so let's take a look at that right now. The area of a circle is defined as pi r squared, where r is the radius. All right, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the radius, and we're given the area. So now we can use some simple algebra to figure out what the radius of this circle is. All right, so again, the area of a circle is pi r squared. We know the area of this circle is 9 pi. And again, we need to find the radius of the circle to solve the problem. Okay, so what we can do here is set up a simple equation to solve for r. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem. And don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so this is not that difficult. So again, the area of a circle is pi r squared. Well, the area of this circle is 9 pi. So now we have 9 pi is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so let's use some basic algebra to solve for r. Now, the first thing that we want to do here is divide both sides of the equation by pi. Now, don't let this symbol get you confused. This is simply a number. Now, it's a constant. It represents the number that is approximately 3.14. But this decimal goes out to infinity, so we simply use this symbol to represent the entire digits of pi. So the first thing we want to do is uh, divide both sides of the equation by pi, because we can get rid of these pi's, uh, leaving us with 9 is equal to r squared. All right, now we have a simple quadratic equation. So to solve for r, all we have to do is take the square root of both sides of the equation. All right, so the square root of 9 is positive and negative 3, and the square root of r squared is r. 
Now, because we're talking about the distance uh, in a circle, we're going to use the positive root here. So the radius is, in fact, positive 3 and not negative 3. So now that we know that the radius is a positive 3, we can answer the question. So let's go back to our circle here. And again, it's tangent to the x-axis and y-axis. So we need this distance and this distance to define the center of the circle as an x-y ordered pair. All right, so what's this distance right here? Well, it's going to be the radius of 3. So we have 3 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis as well because we're talking about the same distance. All right, so the correct answer here is 3, 3. Now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. But what we're talking about here is basic algebra and geometry. And if you need help in either algebra or geometry or both, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.